welcome all my honored guests. What up, Bruce? Welcome back to Bruce Kingdom. I'm Mike the Brewist, and um, before we get started uh, with our, our next product opening here, there's a couple things I wanted to get off the table. I apologize for um, not putting out any content after I said more stuff was going to be coming out. Um, as you can see, I'm in a new house now, so the last month and a half has been really busy, um, like uh, moving, packing, unpacking, organizing, all that stuff. So um, that's why I haven't put anything out yet. Um, I do have some upcoming ideas for videos. Um, the first one being, it's, it's kind of silly, um, but uh, I built my wife a deck um, during the, the, the coronavirus. I want to do a deck profile on that. Um, it's been something we've done a couple of times. Not, I mean, it's nice that she lets me have my hobbies and she kind of puts up with it. So um, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to build her a deck and, you know, when we have our her and I game nights or whatever, instead of playing the same old board games and try something different. So um, I built her deck profile. Uh, the second one, um, since I've seen that some locals are opening up now that restrictions are getting sort of lifted, um, I want to put together a locals slash regionals um, type of kit, like things that you need to bring or that you should bring with you if you've never done to something like that or if you have done it maybe some other things to include um so i know the the major tournaments and stuff like that aren't open yet but um that was one of the first when i first went to my regionals was i went on youtube and I'm like what should i bring with me i don't know um it's pretty common sense but it was a pretty cool informative video um so I want to do something like that. And then lastly, I have a new beer that I'm going to start brewing here in the next couple of weeks. I just have to put the ingredient order in. Um, I'm going to make a blonde, uh, a blonde ale. Um, I haven't decided like the, the flavor profile I want to do yet. I might do something citrusy, might do something a little bit bold. I haven't decided yet. Um, but look out for that coming up soon. Um, be sure to check out the old brewing video. Um, from St. Patrick's Day this year. Um, if you're interested in seeing what the process is for, for brewing beer. Um, and uh, I mean, that's all I really got right now. Like I said, we just moved into a new house. So I apologize for the lag between content dates and stuff, but I have new stuff that I wanna get rolling out. Um, the house is really nice. I think we got pretty much everything set up minus um, a few boxes that I still have in storage that uh, <clears throat> that's nothing I really need right now, but I just want to get it out of storage and get it in the new house. I'm only like 10 minutes away, 10, like a 10 minute walk from the beach. So that's pretty sweet. Um, and uh, I need to go swimming. Delta, he loves to go swimming. So um, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been really nice. We really like it here so far. Um, yeah, without uh, fourth, further ado, I'm sorry, I just had a brain fart there. Um, let's get into today's video. It's going to be a small product opening. Um, and one thing I'm really excited to showcase to you guys is the Legendary Duelist Season 1 um, box that recently came out. Um, I'm really excited about this box more so for the singles than actually buying sealed product because there's not really a whole lot of money in, in this set because they're all reprints. I think the most expensive card in this set as of last night is Millennium Eyes Restrict at roughly 11 bucks. So um, and it costs about 15 bucks a box for this. So I wouldn't invest in sealed product unless you just enjoy opening stuff, which is totally fine. Um, but uh, yeah, this set I'm, I'm really excited for. Um, I have my singles list already built out that I want to buy just to round out my Red Eyes deck. Uh, but some of the things that I'm looking forward to in here, like the, the promo cards, um, the Red Eyes promo cards. You only get one promo card per box, which is kind of a bummer, but it it is what it is. So I'm really looking forward to um, like the Red Eyes Baby Dragon, um, the Red Eyes Gear Freed, uh, and Fang with Chain. Um, so yeah, 
and then each set comes with like I think it's they call it a puzzle card it's got like a character profile on one side it looks really cool uh, character profile on one side and then like a a puzzle piece you, they want you to collect all the puzzle pieces and then you build what I think is like a like a mini playmat or something I'm, I'm not really sure um, but uh, yeah those are pretty cool and then it also comes with two um, booster packs in it with like the the super rares are really they're really cool so they're like super rares and then they have like colored foil lettering so I think it this was before I got back into it but I think they called it uh, dual league or or something like that so they have like it's green purple and blue lettering um, which is pretty cool so you get two of those and then you also get one ultra rare um, as well so um, like I said yeah with this set there's not a whole lot of money into it. I wouldn't buy sealed product. I just bought one to, to showcase to you guys. Um, I would definitely invest in, in singles with this. If this is um, something that you wanted to buy because the, the reprints in here, uh, especially the Red Eyes cards, uh, with the, the announcement of Dragoon coming out, um, the Red Eyes cards skyrocketed. Um, they were already pretty spendy before, but they like tripled in price um, or at least doubled in price once Dragoon got announced. Um, so it's been kind of rough trying to get those where these are, are pretty cheap because they are reprints. Um, so yeah, we got a box of this and this one, it's not really a big deal. Um, it's just something that I wanted to pick up, um, for, um, my own personal use, um, Dino Smasher's Fury. Uh, structured it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I've been trying to build a, a dino deck for a while, but I was only trading for it. I wasn't actually like, um, I wasn't actually going out and buying the singles and, and stuff like that. I've just, I thought the dinosaurs have always been kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then we also got some eternity code. Now in this set, I'm looking for, um, you know, obviously the Ghost Girl, and then um, the uh, the Nemesis cards. I think that's a pretty cool archetype. I don't think it's complete yet, so some new stuff will probably be coming out. Um, but and then also the uh, the Plunder Patrol cards that are in here as well. Um, I'm really looking forward to those. So we got six packs of that. Um, and yeah, that's what we got for you today. Um, without further ado before that just kidding um happy fourth of july um fourth of july is awesome awesome day um it's always been really inspiring to me make sure you're going out being safe um be careful with fireworks uh if you if you and your families partake in fireworks just be careful with fireworks um and boating safety and, and all that jazz and okay um, I'm assuming you're all pretty smart. So, um, yeah, we got, we got some pre 4th of July beer going on today, but, um, yeah, guys, let's, uh, let's get into it. All right. All right. So here we go. Um, like I said, we got six packs of Eternity Code, Legendary Duelist Season 1, and I'm going to blaze through Dino Smasher's Fury um, Structure Deck because this is a reboot. Um, this is something that I've wanted for a little while, but just haven't had. Um, so yeah, let's get into uh, Legendary Duelist Season 1. Now, these boxes, look at this. Look at all this empty space. Jeez. Can't you uh, spare some material? All right. So as I stated in the intro, you get um, two packs, and then you get um, a promo card and a um, like a character profile card. So let's see what we get. Red Eyes Fang with Chain. Perfect. That's one that I needed, um, so I can cross that off my singles list. Uh, awesome. So let's see what we got in here for a character like profile card. That didn't open very smoothly. So yeah, like I said, like each character profile card comes with like I think it's a puzzle piece. Maybe makes like a playmat. 
Um, I'm not sure. So we'll see. But we get Jesse Anderson. All right, Mr. Crystal Beast himself. So that's pretty cool. And as I'm watching this video on my TV, as I'm taking it, um, again, the camera quality on my new webcam isn't the greatest. Um, it's very grainy. So um, I will be reading out the names to the cards for you guys. Um, and it's in the process. I know I've said that for a while now, but it is in the process. Um, so just, just bear with me here. All right. Yeah. Look at these packs. They are thick compared to these guys. Look how thick those are. 18 cards per pack versus the normal nines. This is like a double pack. All right. So we got Legendary Fisherman number two, Ancient Gear Catapult, Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth, Megaroid City, Toon Summon Skull, Crystal Blessing, Toon Dark Magician Girl, Mixeroid, Relinquished, Viacroid Connection Zone, and now getting into the, the super rares, Amazon is Call. So like, I can't remember if it was this take or not but like if you can see the the lettering on it it's it's like the duelist league colors so this is a purple one um so it's like an ultra rare but the letters are purple instead of gold uh, they have purple green and blue i believe um so that's pretty cool rainbow bridge and curse of dragon the cursed dragon so that's pretty cool. Red Eyes Wyvern, Ancient Gear Gadget, Toon Defense, Illusionist Faceless Magician, and Toon Barrel Dragon. All right. So we didn't get any of the ultras in there that we wanted, but that's all right. We did get the Fang with Chain, so that's pretty cool. Crystal Conclave, Cyber Darkness Dragon, Rainbow Dragon, Crystal Beacon, Red Eyes Retro Dragon, and getting into the Ultras, Desperado Barrel Dragon, well, that looks pretty cool. I think that's a blue lettering or purple maybe, I'll have to see under a different light. Millennium Eyes Illusionist, okay, that's pretty cool. And Melfi Rabby, I forgot that this was in here that archetype that's coming out <laughs> okay so melfi rabby sorry you can't even really see it that's a bummer <laughs> okay cool megaroid city toon mermaid toon cyber dragon crystal beast sapphire pegasus ancient gear golem return of the red eyes parasite paranoid manga Ryuran. Toon Goblin Attack Force, and Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. All right. So, like I said, not the nothing in here I'd really use as far as the, the supers and the ultras go. That's why I'm going to end up buying singles out of this set. Um, but, yeah, they're pretty cool. I think they're cool looking with the, the lettering and stuff like that. Getting into, let's knock this thing out first. I know you're all are pretty, pretty stoked on the Dino Smashers Fury structure deck. So. Alright, here. Alright, so we got Petite Pteranodon. Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, Soul Eating Over Raptor, Lost World, Survival's End. Those are the foil cards in the set. <clears throat> Megalo Smasher X, Sabersaurus, 
another Megalo Smasher X, another Sabersaurus, Superconductor Tyranno, Ultimate Tyranno, Super Ancient Dino Beast, Sourpod Brachion, Tyranno Infinity, Black Brachios, Miracle Jurassic Egg, Gilosaurus, Baby Sarasaurus, Miscellaneousaurus, Evil Swarm Salamandra, Stegocyber, Trifortrisops, that's a mouthful, Skelosaurus, Chewbone, okay, Chewbone, <laughs> a Rescue Rabbit, Fossil Dig, Big Evolution Pill, Twin Twisters, always nice to have these on hand, Burial from a Different Dimension, Swords of Concealing Light, Painful Decision, Expected, Unexpected Die, Terraforming, Survival of the Fittest, Fossil Excavation, Extinction on Schedule, Ujama Trio, Nightmare Archfiends, Quaking Mirror Force, Grand Horn of Heaven, Secret Blast, and the Jura Egg Token. Right, and that's actually kind of cool. I like that. And you got the little promos here. Hey, check this out. Scan here for the beginner's guide. Scan here to learn more about Eternity Code. All right, cool. All right, getting into, well, let's check this playmat out. Some of these are actually really cool. I can usually keep all the playmats from the structure decks I get, just because I think they're kind of cool looking. Okay, nice. Nice. I never use the paper ones because I have these nice neoprene microfiber cloth ones, but yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Eternity Code. Let's get some Plunder Patrol, some uh, Nemesis cards. Let's do it to it. Trias Hier Hierarchia. It's a mouthful. Super Heavy Samurai Wagon. I always go into his voice for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Unchained Twin Sarama. Megalith Unformed. Invoked Augioides. Augie I can't say that word. Augoides. Augoi? Yeah. Screw it. That one. The Invoke Fusion, Tao Tai Dragon, Parallel Exceed, Red Familiar, and Nemesis Adrestia. Megalith Unformed, Unchained Twin Sarama, Marinces Basilalima, Stars of Mail. Oh, we got a secret. Gearsu the Orcus Mech Knight. That's like a $30 card right now, I believe. That's pretty cool. I like that. Nice. That's a good pull. Rainbow Bozu, or Rain Bozu, sorry. Link Burst. Another Nemesis Adrestia. And Deep Sea Sentry. Yeah, so Gearsu. I never got into Mech Knights or Orcus or anything like that, but um, that's that's a pretty good pull. I like that. I was looking for some Toon Chaos stuff, but I haven't found any of those packs anywhere. And uh, now that I moved, I don't really have another local card shop to go to, so I need to find another one or just drive even farther. All right, next pack. Buzzsaw Shark, Goki the Power Lord Ogre, Resonator Command, Codebreaker Virus Berserker. Plunder Patrol Party! See, I just think these are fun cards. I don't know how good the deck really is. I just think they're they're cool, cool cards. I remember I pulled the the secret synchro um, before, and I was so excited because it looked like a Viking ship. I didn't realize it was a pirate uh, archetype. So I, I'm really into pirates too. So I just think that's pretty cool. I think they're fun. 
I like building the, the fun decks like that. Uh, Salomon Great Zebroid X. Thunder Dragon Lord. I've seen a couple of profiles with him in Thunder Dragon, so I might play around with, with him in my Thunder Dragon deck. Um, that's going to be getting a make over here soon. I might do like a Chaos Thunder Dragon type thing. Deep Sea Sentry and Magical Hound. <clears throat> yeah, so how you guys been doing through this whole COVID thing? Um, as it's winding down, make sure you're still staying safe, wearing your masks, washing your hands, all that good stuff. Um, you know, we're not out of the woods yet. So, and, you know, take it seriously. Don't get freaked out when you hear about a spike in, in testings, positives, and all that good stuff because it's going to happen. As more and more tests become available, people are going to, more and more people are going to get tested. So, just be smart, be cognizant of your, your surroundings, and keep following the guidelines. All right. Nice pack. Another Buzzsaw Shark. Necroquip Prism. Codebreaker Zero Day. Goki Iron Claw. Void Apocalypse. Okay. King Beast Barbaros. Goki Guts. Super Heavy Samurai Sword Musashi. Sword Master Musashi. Okay. Another Tao Tai Dragon. <clears throat> What's that dude's name? Gong? He plays the super heavy samurais in the, in the anime. I always do his voice for some reason. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> Next pack. Triers Hierarchia. Super heavy samurai wagon! <laughs> Unchained Twin Sarama. Megalith Unformed. That's a trap. Another Plunder Patrol Party. Bluebeard the Pun Plunder Patrol Shipwright. Okay. Cool. Another Thunder Dragon Lord. Bribe of the Plunder Patrol. Torpedo Takedown. I don't know why I got excited. That just looked like a cool card. <laughs> All right, last pack, you guys. I think like the the coolest pulls from today have been the uh, the Red Eyes Fang with Chain and definitely the Gearsu the Orcus Neck Knight. Um, I might throw that out there and see what interest I can get for for that because I have no use for it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Keep uh, keep checking out. Check out my Snups page that has my trade binder. Check out the other videos um, of my trade binders as well. And um, yeah, just just look for me around. Be sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe down below. All right, last pack. Here we go. Bless it. Princess Basiliema, Deep Sea Artisan, another Super Even Samurai Wagon, Proxy F Magician. Do we get a third party? We got a Red Rain. That's a cool looking card. Okay. Red Rain. Torpedo Takedown. Xyz Revive Splash. Noctovision Dragon. And a Flourishing Frolic. Okay. So, yeah. Today, um, like I said, we wanted to get back into the fold, showcase to you guys some, some good stuff, um, kind of explain to you why I've been away for so long. Um, I, like I said, I do apologize for that. Um, you know, it's just been, it's been really hectic with the move and the COVID and, and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, like I said, new videos will be coming out, um, with the ideas that I stated before. Be sure to, uh, again, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you're, what you're looking forward to out of these sets. I know Eternity Code's been out for a while. Um, let me know what you're looking for out of Tune Chaos. Um, I think that's a really fun set. Um, I've always been interested in Black Luster Soldier and then the Chaos um, archetypes. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then also the, um, the Legendary Duelist Season 1. If you're going to buy the sealed product, which I personally don't recommend, 
Um, what are you looking for out of it? Um, I recommend buying the singles because uh, I just, this was a very big box for two packs and two promo cards. Um, and, the, and the price point's just not there for me to invest in any sealed product of this. Um, but yeah, let me know what you're looking for out of there. If you're interested in building a Red Eyes deck or something like that, as as my deck gets finished, which it should be in roughly two, two and a half, three weeks, um, I'll do a, definitely a deck profile on that because that's one I'm really excited for. I understand it's never going to be meta, it's never going to be blue eyes, it's never going to be dark magician and all that stuff because it's like the the tier two of the anime type monsters. But um, no, I'm just I'm I'm really excited that I'm back into the fold. I miss you guys, um, and I hope that. Um, Again, you guys like, comment, subscribe down below. Share with a friend. Um, if if they're into Yu-Gi-Oh! and they like pack openings and deck profiles and all that good stuff, and you think they'd like the channel, awesome. If you're a guy and you like to make beer, like to drink beer, like to have a good time, awesome. That's what this place is for. This is the channel that I built to combine two of my hobbies, and um, that's why we named it Brewlist Kingdom. Because I'm a brewer, make beer, and I just thought Brewless Kingdom sounded great off of Pegasus, uh, Pegasus' Duelist Kingdom. So, like I said, I'm Mike the Brewlist. Welcome back to Brewless Kingdom. We'll see you next time. Cheers.